From cancer survivor to making history in space, one physician assistant is an inspiration for so many. Such a cool story. Now she's reaching out to a whole new generation. ABC's Will Gantz has her story. This school year, Haley Arsenault is taking students on the field trip of a lifetime. Hey, it's Haley from orbit, about 380 kilometers above the Earth. Inviting them to blast off with the front row seat to history. Hey, Haley, the youngest American to orbit the Earth, sharing her story in Wild Ride, my journey from cancer kid to astronaut. Congratulations. Wild Ride is out and it's a special edition adapted for young readers. Why did you want to adapt your story for young readers? I just wanted to give them a source of hope and some joy. And so this adapted version of Wild Ride, it's a fun space book, but also it's a story of hope. Hope has always been Haley's North Star, now working as a physician assistant at St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. And when she was a patient fighting cancer there at just 10 years old. What do you wish you knew at that age? I would tell my younger self that it's going to be okay. I wouldn't tell her that she will one day go to space. Why not? I wouldn't ruin the surprise. Haley says she's thrilled her story is now in the hands of younger readers. When I talk to kids about my space experience, I love their questions because, of course, they all want to know if I saw aliens. Speaking of hard-hitting questions, a rocket ship rapid-fire round worthy of our intergalactic guest. The best snack in space. M&M's. Ooh, that was quick. Something you would not try again in space. Throwing away garbage. Because every time we would open the garbage bag, trash would float out. What is your favorite joke about space? When we talk to the St. Jude patients from space, one of the kids asks us, are there cows on the moon? And we just fell out. You aced it. Haley's Guide to the Galaxy. There it is. What do you hope when there are young people who pick up this book and read your story? What do you hope that they take away? I hope that as they read it, they are filled with this belief that they can dream big dreams because those big dreams can come true. Will Gans, ABC News, New York.